Hello and welcome to ARCA at Iowa. Feels like we were just here. We were just here in Iowa uh, in the ARCA car not too long ago, last season I think. Um, but uh, we're back here again. Pretty popular combo. I think a lot of people really like this one. Um, I had a bit of a frustrating experience last time though. I found it very, very difficult to pass. Um, especially as you got a little bit later in the run. So I think uh, my plan this time here is step one, qualify well, which, you know, we'll see. Currently in progress. And then step two, be aggressive early, which I don't really usually like doing, but I think uh, what we got as much grip in the tires as possible is when we're going to be wanting to try to get our track position, so... Why did that feel so tight? That didn't feel right at all. We're going to get another run of the line because that turn one felt terrible. I felt like I had no rotation in, into the corner. So we're going to go ahead and get a run of the line again. I break a little bit more. P2. Track of a sudden feels so tight compared to what I got used to. That's strange. And then, for some reason, 3 and 4 felt super loose there. I don't know how that happens, but... 23.8. Uh, Hopefully that's decent. I, I usually am not too great at this combo, and uh, not too confident with that qualifying effort. I swear, the track was much looser in practice. Well, now I'm changing my freaking, or checking my brake bias, and then that's happening. So, we're off to a great start. <laughs> You've got some damage. Let's get that fixed. Well, that's embarrassing. I was freaking looking to, de like, to check to see if I put my brake bias all the way back, and uh, did not notice I was getting loose, and then when I paid attention again I was headed toward the wall so there's some unnecessary safety rating loss 2x in uh, qualifying um, discounted 2x at least but hey at least we got our lap in and uh, right now that lap's got us P3 for now not in quite close to the number two he's got about a tenth up on us So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I, I'm kind of concerned that I think the other drivers are going to know that you have to be aggressive early and get track position and stuff. And that could make the start of this race very dangerous. And uh, we could have some very aggressive moves. And we're just going to have to participate in that because uh, it's going to be really, really hard to pass later, I think. So... <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, we've got a couple people we're still waiting on to do their laps. It is a uh, kind of early afternoon race here on Thursday. Off of work today. And I uh, didn't get to do any races at the start of the week on Monday. I was busy. That's when I normally get a couple races in. And then Tuesday and Wednesday I work, so not really uh, able to do races then. So here I am on Thursday. That's why uh, it's been a little bit before I was able to get to this this week. Usually Mondays when I get some races out of the way. But got this going here. Probably gonna hope to do some more racing as well today, including the Diet Dr. Pepper series, which is at Chicagoland this week. I think that's going to be really fun. Got that to look forward to. And uh, we've got this race about 48 seconds away, depending on if these guys are ready up or not. The 6 is the only one we're waiting on now. They've done one lap, and they just did it, so hopefully uh, we'll get started here. It's probably going to be another... 20 seconds anyway, which is about how much remaining time we have, regardless. Will the apes be able to kick us out of P3? Does not look like it. So, P3, I'm happy with that starting spot. 
go ahead and get out there. Prep our session last lap. Break by his back. The estimated SOF is 2,955. That's way inflated. The uh, real strength of field, according to Race Lab, is 2.5k. So about 400 less in reality than what is estimated there. 2.5k, so a little bit on the lower side um, of what I've kind of gotten used to lately. Doing uh, the first, you know, race of the week especially. Because whenever you do those, you're in the 4,000s or so. Sometimes. A lot of the time. But we've got some really fast guys in here. Still. Guys that would probably be in that strength field race if they had, uh, or maybe they did, show up for that. I think uh, last time, and I think if I had done it this time, I'm usually kind of like a mid-pack finisher in the strength of field race with this combo. It's just this combo doesn't quite click with me as well. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's uh, just I'm not usually aggressive enough, and passing early is so important. I don't know. We're going to try to be a little more aggressive uh, to start with in this one, though. We'll see how that works out. Waiting on somebody There's getting no in the car. During the drive. Right. Right. And the good luck. Temp is 93. Right. Temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Two to green here at Iowa since it is technically short track, so. Car number zero, two. In the inside column. The time. We'll have time to get lined up. You'll be lining up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. I think it might be a first gear start. We've got a lot of uh RPM to work with right here. It looks like we can gun it from first gear, so. That is what we will do. Not a very talkative group here. Maybe for the best. Sometimes these uh, groups get kind of crazy. Oh, some good luck, though. So. Right as I say something. Now look at the guys around me. It seems like we have some very clean One to go. drivers. Five. Lots of A four point whatevers. Full sitter is a B two point six, and the number ten on our outside is a C two point eight. So uh, I've raced the uh, two before and didn't have any issues. We had a great race in the past, so I think he's probably good. Don't know the 10, but might want to give a little bit extra room with a C2.8. That's a little concerning. But doesn't tell the whole story. Maybe we'll have a great race with him as well here today. Not ready to get started. Get ready. Going green. Get ready. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Hmm. Maybe second gear would have been the way. Almost get to the inside of the three, but not quite. We're going to be aggressive early, like I said. Not diving it in or anything. That wouldn't be very cool, but... I'm gonna try to get around him. Inside. The next car's the leader. Still there at the bottom. The car inside. Yeah, we're gonna try this. Hey, we kind of avoided the bumps. That actually really worked. He takes that higher line, so we will cut down lower. 
He ran high line last time, so come down here. Car outside. Keep I bet he holds us off though. Huge run on that outside lane usually. What can we do to get around? Do we have to try that high line in one and two again? Let's try it. They kind of lucky with those bombs. They haven't set me up unsettled too badly. Car outside. Clear high. There's just gonna be no way to pass them. I don't think. I don't know how we do it. Let's be honest. Might just have to go into tire save mode so we don't kill the darn tires. Because you probably can make a good pass late in the run if you've really got a tire advantage. I do think that should be possible. But not easy, still, by any means. Got the 10 behind us. The 3 has fallen back quite a bit, so he's not doing the aggressive early strategy. He's looking to prove me wrong in my theory that you have to be aggressive early. He goes to the bottom. I was already committed to trying the high side that time. Keep up guessing. Driving so much more aggressively than I normally do. Feels pretty uncomfortable, to be honest, but. Trying to force him into a mistake or something. Outside. That was a terrible corner. I freaking hit the apron. Clear up top. Oh no. The guy's coming fast. Car outside. There. Hold your Playing too many games. Clear outside. Outside. Keep low. Stay low. Clear up top. Lane. Still there. Hold your line. P3. Stay low. He's gonna get around us. Stay low. Clear high. Gotta get to the top. I'm surprised how well the Highline's working this time. This guy makes me slam on my brakes. That is why he's got a seep 2.8, I bet. Let's not leave us the lane, no courtesy. And uh, that's at risk to him because I barely was able to slow down in time. Cut me off. It's going to be Highline dominant, I think, to the end of this thing, at this point. The lap time was 24.6. P3. 
gonna do it again, I bet. Yep. Got time to adjust though. So you can't just run into them and then blame them for it. Oh, the leader's in the wall. Gets out of the wall pretty quick though. You've just done it. Twenty-four point six. Now the guy heads me were driving and protecting the high line. Kind of don't blame him. Not enough turn down there. It was a mistake. Try that. I left the high line and now I'm gonna pay for it. You just can't leave the high line here. Nearly get hit by a three. It's very close. Very surprised the bumps are not bothering us quite as much. I might just be getting lucky too, though. Ten getting major loose. I'm worried about him, to be honest. Pretty big into three. Since his mark, he's gonna get passed by the four. Not quite. Four gives him a lane. This is a very dangerous spot we're in. There's a lot of guys fighting for simpler spots here. Where is the ten going? Outside. You're in the middle. Three wide. No for us to go. Oh boy. I don't know where I need to be. Very, very tense racing, very close racing. <laughs> Almost clear. I'm, I think we just got to dive. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Car outside. Oh my god, where is he going? Coming up on halfway here. Outside That's clear. No room for him there, man. Back in third. He's three high point. Keep high. Lord, ahead is increasing. It's now not still there. So we do a slide job and get clear of him. Clear. He's still trying to find his way put his nose in though, which is interesting. I think he got the wall doing it. Let's try to pull away a little bit. Leader's living large. He loved seeing us battle. The four gets the wall a little bit. We're over halfway done with this one already. That last lap was a 24.8. Oh, he's hitting the wall a lot. He's having some trouble getting that thing turned. Race pace. 
loose on the exit. Had to be careful on throttle a little bit there. Really not doing any tire saving here. Don't know if that's going to hurt us or what, but... Almost got the wall ourselves. That's it. Three's coming pretty fast. I have to watch for a move from him. Four's in the wall again. He's doing a good job making it not cost him too much, though. Outside, keep low, clear outside if you want it. My job. He's gonna clear us though. File in. Outside is clear. Inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. High intensity racing. Everybody's Here doing a pretty inside. good job though. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, inside. Clear. Car inside. Still there, inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Trying to get past the four. Still feel like I might need just a mistake from him, though, in order to do it. Still there, hold your line. Three's working on us. Not quite getting it far enough into the corner, though. We need to get to the outside of four somehow. Inside. Still inside. And I've got to really watch out being right behind him because he has tapped the wall a couple times. Got ten left to go. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Goes to the bottom. Works fine uh, for him just fine though. All over him, I just don't know if we're going to be able to make a pass. Car inside. Stay high. Mm. Clear. Got loose there. The guy on the inside, that was a little scary. Bumps not very good. Still there. Stay high. Stay high. Hands hurt, man. This is really tense racing. He almost clears us. Guy's in the wall again ahead. Keep high. Clear. Back in third. Keep hustling.
using the wall again. <laughs> they're really making a habit out of it, but they're all light touches, so it's not really hurting them all that bad. We have five to go. That snuck up on us because I have been having a tense race here. Almost get to his outside. But he's real slow through the corner. Back off. That breaks our momentum, and now he's got to run on us. Three does. Great racing from the guys around us, by the way. Like, we're racing so close, and uh, no contact yet. We'll see, but... Got lap traffic coming up. That could really uh, throw a wrench in this. I've just been in a box this whole friggin' race. Guy in front of me, guy next to me. Could run off. Alright, we'll get P3 after a crazy intense battle. Oh, the guy, the three, is losing it. Oh, last well, corner. Decent drive. Whew. Good race, good win. Great job. You did really well. That was pretty crazy, man. That was intense. The uh, non-ability to pass late run definitely came to play. I think the three was better than we were, but we had that track position early, and I think that did help. Tires did not matter. 63.75, and it just did not matter. <laughs> um, I mean, we were just running the high side, and nobody can make a pass. So, um, I still don't think it's <laughs> really my favorite combo. But uh, if you got some guys that actually care about not running you over and stuff, that was uh, some intense racing. Very close racing. And uh, hopefully fun to watch. So, started P3, we get P3. And uh, we'll see what happened out here. Actually, a really clean race, because lap 17 is the first thing we have. And we only had one 2x and one 1x. And the, the 2x, I think, was loss of control out of that final corner for the uh, 3. So, 15 is going to get the wall. I wonder if we're going to see somebody, like, spin into the grass or something. I leave him the lane there. But, uh, did I leave him the lane? Is that kind of bad? Let me take a look at this. Uh, I'm not happy with that move. I didn't do well enough. Because I wanted to I wanted to get clear of him, but I wasn't far enough ahead. So I kind of changed my mind late. I'm not really happy with my move there. That looks worse than I thought it was in car. So I feel bad about that. It's my fault he got in the wall there. Hmm. Because I, I end up giving him the lane because I'm not far enough, which is better than going right in front of him and getting myself direct. But I think I made the decision to 
give him a lane too late because I think I just I held him too tight because I think that's not enough room so that was not a good move for me I don't feel good about that so I, I'd apologi apologize to him but he already left I am sorry about that that was not great for me I don't do very many slide jobs so don't have a very good feel for him clearly there's a fork in the wall and then out of the final corner, the three just trying to get everything he can. You can see he's frustrated because he knew he was faster than probably both of us ahead of him. And he probably knew he was faster than the five, too. But uh, he ends up fifth. Just because you can't pass, you have to be aggressive early, I think. So probably a frustrating race for him. He gives himself a loss of control there. I don't really agree necessarily with doing that because you got the whole field coming now. And uh, safety rating is going to count until the last guy finish, finishes the race, which is going to be a while. Now, he exits out quickly, but no harm done, I guess. And uh, that'll do it. Here's a guy that uh, gets his spins in when they uh, don't count anymore, but the win does. He gets the victory, well earned, and uh, we will check out the results page here. Race Lab estimates we'll get about 8 I rating. Ooh, big haul for the podium finish. Wowee. <laughs> That's, that'll happen. Um, 25, 86 strength of field. We get the fastest lap, interestingly. Uh, yep, 8 I rating and a clean race. So I'll take it. 130 championship points, which is a good amount. I am good with that as well. All good. Satisfied with the run here today. I think being aggressive early mattered. And uh, just uh, choosing your spots. I think if you go low, you just have to do the slide job. And you have to get back to that top. I don't know. Even really early, like, we went to the bottom and then just got freight trained on the outside. It's really interesting. I think uh, you just need a little more power in this car in order to make the bottom line work because you can gain some on entry on the low side but the car just doesn't have enough power to get going off of the corner and so the high line that kept its momentum that's uh, just gonna dominate so that will do it for this one though I hope you enjoyed there was definitely lots of close racing had me nervous got my hands hurting but uh, we survive it we had some good uh, a good run uh, the guys around us kept it clean and uh, I think the worst thing I saw in the incidents was me freaking not doing the slide job correctly and uh, bailing out of it too late and uh, making the 10 run out of room. And I, now I don't feel good about that, so apologies to him. But uh, other than that, solid run. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.